Okay, here's your weekly update video. Um, regular week this week, four days. Uh, you've got your work day, help day on Wednesdays. Uh, so take advantage of that in the morning, and then if you need help in the afternoon, um, I'll be at school. Uh, doesn't mean that you can't Zoom with me. Okay, so if you uh, need help, just let me know, uh, and I'll make sure that I'm available for that. Otherwise, um, we are going to kind of wrap up the Star Relationship uh, explore activity that was due last week Friday. I'm going to spend some time Monday and Tuesday going through and explaining it with you. Um, if I don't see you on Monday, there'll be a video posted in the daily update that you can watch. Uh, we will do a little bit of explanation on Tuesday as well, uh, but probably not as in-depth as the video is going to be. So please make sure you watch that video uh, if you need to, because I'm not going to see you on Monday. Um, otherwise, after uh, I explain things on Monday. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to ask you to do since we are wrapping up in an, an explore activity is to go back to your two graphic organizers. Take a look at the uh, before, during, after graphic organizer and put some stuff in the during. Based on what you learned, there's some really key uh, relationships that you should um, write down so that you've got those. Uh, and then the astronomy unit graphic organizer, uh, there's some questions in there that um, you're going to want to try to answer as well. So uh, that is your task for Monday, whether I see you or not. Uh, Tuesday, we are going to start a new Explore activity uh, revolving around fusion, and that's kind of the uh, major process that's happening within STARS all the time. So you're going to explore that process a little bit, try to figure out what's happening in STARS and uh, what happens to STARS as things fuse. Um, so you're starting that up on Tuesday. Uh, that is not going to be due, though, until Thursday night. So uh, you've got three days to get that thing done. Um, I'm going to walk through a little bit of it today uh, in this video so that you can figure it out early if you want to uh, start that up on, on Tuesday, which would be my suggestion. Um, like I said, Wednesday is the work help day. Thursday in class, uh, we'll do a little bit of um, Q&A on fusion and, and what's happening. Uh, you will have some work time on uh, that explore activity, which I said is due Thursday night. Okay, that'll take care of Thursday, Friday. Um, you know, since we're done with that explore activity, uh, I will explain it, go through it, have you guys talk through what you learned and see if you got what you needed to get. Um, again, if I don't see you on Friday, there'll be an explained video posted in the, the daily update. So please make sure you watch that. You're really going to want to to watch that one. There's some key ideas about um, our unit in this Explore activity. Um, and then, just like we did on, on Monday, you'll have some time in class to take a look at your before, during, and after graphic organizer along with that astronomy unit graphic organizer. Uh, everybody uh, also needs to complete the Explore reflection. Uh, it is just a, an opportunity for you to kind of reflect on the process that we're using in science. I know that it's different than what you're used to. So there's a couple of, of questions that I'd like you to answer. Um, the process on how you answer them is kind of, or how, yeah, how you present it to me is, is up to you. And that's going to be due Friday night at 11.59 p.m. Okay. So uh, with all that being said, I wanted to jump into Schoology and show you uh, the, the two assignments, how to do them, uh, so that um, whenever you want to work on those this week, you can. Okay, so I'm going into the Astronomy Unit, going into the Explore folder. Um, the Fusion Explore activity, uh, the directions and everything are very similar. There's the document that you're going to uh, make your own copy of. Now this time, um, I don't think it matters which... Um, app you use to open this and, and write your answers. If you're a Google Doc person, that should be fine. If you're a Notability person, that should be fine too. Um, however, getting into this thing, um, just like the last time, I think it's going to be very important that you read through uh, those two paragraphs, maybe highlight, underline, put question marks, um, process that information. There's some really good background that make that'll make this process a little bit more understandable. Okay, um, and for this Explore activity, you're going to be playing a game. Okay, so uh, this link here uh, will take you to 
this nuclear fusion game, all right? And if you read through the directions, essentially all you do is swipe up, down, left, right, and, and try to just see what happens, okay? So all I'm doing on my screen is randomly um, pushing up, down, left, or right, okay? So I'm not going to go into it. You're supposed to explore that, uh, but that's where the link is to play the game, all right? Uh, and then as you go through, uh, it gives you directions, asks you to answer some questions. Um, you know, for this first one, it says uh, to try and relate what's happening in the game to what you know about fusion. And, you know, for some of you, maybe you know a lot about fusion and some of you, you don't. And that's perfectly OK. We're exploring. Um, so do the best that you can and relate it to as much as you know about fusion. OK. Um, there's a little bit more background here, which is going to be helpful. OK, so again, another spot to maybe highlight, underline, take notes, you know, however, you know, that's going to work best for you. Uh, another question before it asks you to stop and then you're going to do something a little bit different. OK, um, what you're going to need here is another person to help you with this next step. OK, um, if you're in class and we're working on this, you're going to be in a breakout room with another person and you guys can work together. Uh, if you're not in class, uh, try to find another person at home. Uh, if you've got a friend in honors and you want to do this with them, um, figure out a way to FaceTime or whatever the case to, to do this activity. OK, uh, but what you're doing next is trying to make an analogy um, and a process to figure out differences in mass of, of stars and how does that relate to the process of fusion. OK, um, so in the directions, you need a timekeeper and, a, and uh, an observer. Well, those two people are the same or those two jobs are the same person. And then you have another person who's playing the game. OK, uh, and it tells you that you're going to do this for 90 seconds, uh, but you need a plan. OK, one person is going to play the game as a low mass star. OK, and by reading the directions and reading some of that background, hopefully you come up with a good plan that represents how to play the game for a low mass star. OK, uh, and you're going to randomly play it. OK, so make sure you read those directions. Uh, and then after those 90 seconds, uh, you're going to switch roles and you're going to play the game. The other person is going to play a game as a high mass star. OK, so think about um, the role of gravity and fusion and how those things go together. All right. Uh, what you're going to end up doing, though, is making sure that you explain your process and how you were able to kind of simulate gravity in the game and make sure you have observations for both low mass and high mass stars. OK, then you got some questions to answer. Uh, and then you have a see, think, wonder down here at the bottom. And um, I want you to for sure make sure you fill out these three boxes. If there are other things that you saw, uh, that you observed and you want to write those down in these other boxes you can it's not required okay um, so this one is very much exploring okay so um, I'm, I'm not expecting you to get everything perfectly right the first time but uh, really important that you utilize the the background that's provided to you for this one now the other thing that you're going to be doing is that reflection. Okay, so again in that explore folder down here at the bottom it says explore reflection. Open this guy up uh, and there are directions here. Okay, what I want you, what I want to make sure that you do is be very honest, uh, make sure you're, you're extremely detailed, uh, and make sure you provide examples of what you're trying to talk about and tell me uh, from the unit and from these explore activities. Don't be vague Okay, I want to be very, I want you to be very detailed here. Okay, so this is going to take you to a um, Google Doc. Okay, um, again, really, I'm just asking you to reflect on the Explore activities only. Okay, so that's the Spectra, uh, the HR diagram, and then practicing with Fusion. Those are the only things that I want you to reflect on. Okay, uh, so I want you to give me two paragraphs of information, however, um, how you present those two paragraphs is entirely up to you. If you just want to type the type the paragraphs out, that's fine. Uh, if you would prefer something else like Google Slides or presentation or just recording yourself a video, you know that is entirely up to you. Okay. Um, and what I'd like you to discuss in the paragraphs are here. Okay. Make sure you answer every single one. 
All right. Um, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail. You can read and you can answer those questions on your own. Okay. But that is the process for uh, Friday. Okay. Uh, so that should cover everything for the week. Uh, if you have questions, um, make sure you let me know. And remember, the 25th is the last day to uh, improve your assessment score. So please make sure if you have downtime uh, to do that this week. All right. Have a great week. We'll see you.